hey hello guys welcome to this video in this video we are going to see how to authorize a user based on his roles so what do i mean by authorizing a user in an application so if you take any applications consider facebook we have different roles configured in facebook right a user who has an account will be the owner of his account and we can define a, a set of permissions for our friends list we can post to a group of people and we can hide the post from a certain group of people right so we can share a post as a public post or we can share it as a private that is visible only to a group of friends as well as we can share it to a group only where only a limited number of users will see the post right so what does this permission mean so how do they configure permissions in facebook how do they develop permissions in facebook so I have developed the similar kind of uh, configuring permissions in one of my application okay so i'm going to show you that so I have a login page here i'm going to log in as a user so i'm passing mobile number as a username and as password okay so when i click on login it takes to the parking.html page and i go to permissions page now this user is a super admin user and these are the tabs that is configured for this user okay so if i go to permissions tab now so i am in permissions page so which means this page is accessible for super admin so i have the same application opened in the another browser okay so from here i am going to log in as the different user let me log in with the different mobile number and the password so when i click on login it goes to parking entry and now when i go to permissions page it shows you are not authorized to see this page this user belongs to a group that is not configured for this page so let me show you uh this so this particular user belongs to the admin role right so for the admin uh, role users the permissions is not configured okay and the application is able to identify the user's role and it hides and displays this message for the admin users who try to open this page right so let me do one thing so i'm going to the browser where the super admin is logged in and add the permissions tab into it so i'm going to check this permissions tab permissions option which means i am adding the permissions page for the admin users also so when i click on update now the permissions page is also added to the for the admin users which means now the admin users will be able to see this page so when i refresh this page you should see the permissions page and its data for the admin users also now the admin users can edit right also the admin users can delete and they can add new uh, roles and permissions okay so let me do one thing i will change the i will again remove the permissions from the admin role as a admin user right so this browser is logged in as admin user so i'm going to remove permission stamp from this admin user and click on update now the permissions is removed from the for the admin users in the database when i click on close see immediately it responds now the admin users are not able to see the permissions page perfect so guys i'm going to implement this and show you so in the last video we saw how to protect a route from uh, unauthorized access so we saw how to find whether the user is logged in or not with the help of this protect function so i will add that video in the description 
of this video right so let me uh, create the authorize function a middleware function okay so what i'm going to do here is from the permissions routes okay so i'm going to have a function called authorize okay and from this function i'm going to call it before every api calls so i'm going to pass permissions here okay so whenever this api is called uh, i'll go to the app.js we know this is a startup file for a node.js application so whenever this api is called it calls this route and this route has already been registered here it is imported here and whenever this route is called we are going to call this protect middleware as well as this authorize middleware okay so what we are going to do in authorize middleware is we are going to find whether the logged in user belong to the group that has the permissions configured in it right so i'm going to write a function called exports dot authorize equal to uh, it is going to get a parameter called menu okay from the api and this is going to return async handler so we know async handler will capture the error and it returns the error back to the user as a response okay as a failure response so next so async function we are going to interact with database so it is an async function and here i am going to say let roles is equal to await so i am going to interact with the mongodb database mongodb collection called permissions dot find uh the database column is going to be menu name is equal to menu and i want select of only the roles right role is one so when i say role one it queries the role field and return back the data which satisfies this condition okay so we will get the list from the roles variable so i'm going to check whether the user's role is same as this role the role that is sent as a parameter which is nothing but the permissions okay so we have to send permissions as a, a parameter from here and that parameter is captured and it is passed as a filter to the permissions collection so when the permissions is found right so that uh, role is returned back as a response to this variable and we are going to check whether the logged in user has the same role okay so it is variable found when the user's role matches with the permission that is already configured in the permissions collection right so roles dot find so i'm going to have a function so find function and it is going to check whether r dot role dot to string is equal to request dot user dot role dot to string okay so in the last video what we did is we got the token right so from the so we got the token from the user we verified it and stored that to request dot user object right so we created a object called user inside the request object so what we are doing here is we are going we are checking the stored user object as a role and we are comparing that with the roles that we got from this permissions collection right so if it is found so if found 
right so so when the user belongs to the role that is configured for the permissions collection it means the user has that role so we are saying next right if not found we are uh, sending error that is else through next of new error response okay and the error message is going to be you are not authorized authorized and the code is going to be 400 okay i'll save this perfect so i'll explain you one more time so what i'm doing here is i'm uh, configuring the middleware function so i will call the function here and pass permissions which is the what the page name or the menu name right so i'll i will pass this menu name as a parameter to this middleware function authorize and inside it i am taking that menu i am getting that menu and filtering that menu with the permissions collection so i'll go to the collection so uh, if there are uh, five or ten items in this collection so that query will check which items so what are all the items that has permission stored in it so we are seeing the first item as the menu name permissions configured uh, if i go here uh, this item does not have permissions configured right so it will return the role id of this so the role id we are uh, mentioned that in select okay select role one so this role id sent as a response okay and that role id is stored in this variable okay so imagine if two or more items as this permissions uh, configured so imagine this uh, item also as the permissions configured so i will add one more item okay so imagine this has permissions configured so we are doing that from the front end but here i am just updating the in the database itself so now two records as permissions configured and when this query runs okay uh, the menu name will get filtered and two roles will be sent as a response and this variable will have two roles in it now and what happens is this find function will iterate the roles that is stored i mean the two roles the two role id that is stored in this variable with the user's role the current user logged in role okay so if it matches it says found is true okay if it does not match then it says found is false so we are checking that here if found if the found is not undefined or it has some value we are telling next next is what uh, execute the next middleware function which is nothing but this controller function okay so once this uh, middleware function gets satisfied only then it's it calls this controller function which is nothing but it goes to the controller permissions and it will execute this get permissions function which is nothing but it is what permission dot find it finds the entire record and send as a response as a data here okay which is what we are getting in the front end so let me check now now i have uh, added permissions for both the users for super admin as well as for admin okay so i'm going to log in as the admin user okay three four and uh, i'm going to enter the credentials and when i go inside the application and go to permissions page you see the admin user is able to view all the permissions record okay records right i'm going to log in as super admin also to show you that 
So for both the users, the permissions page is visible. So when I click on login and go to permissions page, see, it is now visible for both the users. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove permissions for super admin. Okay. So I go here and click on edit the DB itself and I'm going to what delete it the permissions alone okay and click on update so it gets removed from the collection for this particular record right now we see for the super admin see for the super admin uh, permissions is not configured so I go back to the front end and refresh so this is a admin user I go to the other tab and refresh the page see it is not working i think uh, the back end is not so i have not saved the back end uh, route so i'll save this okay also i'll save the middleware right so now i go back uh, so i am going to refresh the super admin page so now you see the menu permissions or the page permission is not visible for the super admin users right so it displays you are not authorized to see this page okay so based on the response from the back end we can decide whether to show some pages to the users or hide some pages to the users right so by this way we can stop the unauthorized access to our application by having a simple middleware backend function right so this function decides whether to allow the user to view a page or a menu or block him or hide him the data that is not so important to him okay so guys i think this video would have helped you a lot in learning about authorization right also how to authorize the users from the back end so you see this is executing at the back end so there is no place for the hackers or anyone to access this function and uh, what hack the application because this will be running in a separate server so thank you guys i would suggest you to see all my videos that I have posted in user authentication playlist so if you have any doubts you can ask that in the comment i am always here to help you and support you thank you guys we'll see you in the next video bye